Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's fifth grade math problem, we will be discussing decimal word problems. Let's get started. Our first problem says, Manuel is walking from his home to his school. He has walked 0.142 miles so far and has 0.088 mile left to walk. How far is Manuel's home from school? Answer choice A is 0.054 mile, B is 0.12 mile, C is 0.23 mile, and D is 1.022 miles. What are we looking for? We are looking for how far is Manuel's home from the school. Our steps to solve the problem are the following. One, Manuel has walked 0.142 miles so far and has 0.088 mile left to walk. So we need to add the distance, the distance walked, and also the distance he, have, he has left to walk. C, circle the correct answer. Now let's look to see if there are any wrong answers that we that can be crossed out. Since we know that we're going to add the numbers together, the amount of time, the amount of distance that Manuel has walked already, and also how much he has left to walk, that means that we can cross out any number that is less than 0 0.142 because we know that our answer will be greater since we are adding 0 0.142 to 0 0.088 okay so again because we're adding the two numbers together any answer choice that is left less than 0 0.142 we can cross that answer out let's take a look at our answer choices to see if there's anything we can cross out if you said a and b you are correct because a answer choice a which is 0 0.054 that is less than 0 0.142 and also b which is 0 0.12 mile that can be crossed out as well because it's less than 0 0.142 and just like that, we've increased our chances of getting this problem right. So whenever you're looking at a problem, once you figure out what you're looking for and also you figure out what the steps are to solve the problem, look to see if there are any answer choices you can cross out because crossing out any wrong answers immediately helps increase your chance of getting the problem correct All right, so let's look at our step number one. We have the total miles from Manuel's home to school. We're going to add how many miles he's walked and also how many miles he has left to reach his home. Okay, so in order to solve the problem, what we have to do to find the total miles from Manuel's home to school, we're going to add the mile Manuel has walked and also the mile left to reach his house. So we'll have 0 0.142 plus 0 0.088. Okay, we'll have 0 0.142 plus 0 0.088. When we add those together, our answer is 0 0.23 mile. Okay, Step two, circle the correct answer. In looking at our answer choices, we see that the correct answer is C, 0 0.23 mile. That is the distance from Manuel's home and his school. Let's move to an, a similar problem. Tony has a ribbon that is 2.75 meters long. She cuts off 0 0.345 meter. How much of the ribbon does Tony have left? Okay, let's read it again. 
Tony has a ribbon that is 2.75 meters long, okay? So let's imagine a ribbon that's 2.75 meters long, and she's going to cut 0 0.345 meter. How much of the ribbon, how much of the ribbon does Tony have left? Answer choice A is 3.095 meters, B is 2.715 meters, C is 2.785 meters, and D is 2.405 meters. What are we looking for? We are looking to find how much ribbon Tony has left. Okay, we're looking to see how much ribbon does Tony have left. Our steps to solve the problem are number one, Tony has 2.75 meter, uh, meters long of ribbon and she cuts it. So in order to find out how much ribbon she has left, we are going to subtract the length, the length of the ribbon and also how much she cut. Okay. And step two, we're going to circle the answer, the correct answer. Okay, let's look to see if there are any wrong answers we can cross out. Since we know that this is a subtraction problem, if there are any answer choices that are greater or larger than 2.75 meters, we know that we can cross those cross it out because we are subtracting so two point we our answer won't go up it'll actually decrease okay so again because we are subtracting any number any answer choice where the number is greater than 2.75 meters we can cross that out because we know it's incorrect Let's look at the answer choices and see if there are any answer choices that we can cross out. If you answered A and C, you are correct. Okay, answer choice A is 3.095 meters. Yes, that's greater than 2.75. We can cross that out. And C is 2.785 meters. Again, greater than 2.75 meters, we know that we can cross that out. And like we said in the first problem, we've already increased our chances of answering the problem correct because we've marked out two answer choices that we know are wrong. To solve the problem, to find out the length of the ribbon that Tony has left, what we're going to do is we're going to take the total length of the ribbon that she started with and we're going to subtract the length of the ribbon that she cut. Okay, so that's 2.75 meters minus 0 0.345 meters. Again, 2.75 meters minus 0 0.345 meters, and that's equal to 2.405 meters. Step two, circle the correct answer. R, the correct answer is D. I was going to say our correct answer, but the correct answer is D. 2.405 meters, okay? That's how much ribbon Tony has left. Let's go over one more problem dealing with decimals. One week in May, in the town of Greenleaf, it rained 0 0.89 inches on Tuesday, 0 0.82 inches on Wednesday, and 0 0.57 inches on Friday. It didn't rain the other four days. What was the total rainfall for the week? Answer choice A is 2.08 inches. Answer choice B is 2.26 inches. C is 2.28 inches. And D is 2.18 inches. What are we looking for? We are looking to find out what the total rainfall for the week was. Okay, we're looking for the total rainfall for the week. 
Our steps to solve the problem are number one, add all the rainfall values, and two, circle the correct answer. For step one, adding all of the uh, adding all the three rainfall values. Okay, so we have the inches of rain on Tuesday, which is 0 0.89 inches, plus the rain on Wednesday, which is 0 0.82 inches, and the rain on Friday, which is 0 0.57 inches. Okay, when we add all those together, our answer is 2.28 inches. Now, if you notice for this word problem, we didn't figure out what answers we could cross out because this one was a little tricky we had it we had to add all of the answer we had to add all of the values not answers we had to add all the values first in order to find out what our correct answer is so sometimes you will be able to take the step of seeing which problems are wrong and cross them out and sometimes you aren't but just pay attention to those ones, those times when you are able to do that to increase your chances of getting that problem correct. So moving on, we said that C, 2.28 inches, is our correct answer. Okay, C, which is 2.28 inches, is our correct answers. Is our correct answer. This has been Shay with Hype Math. If you are interested in watching any more 5th grade math test prep videos, they're on our YouTube channel and also you can visit www.hypemath.com. Also, coming soon, there will be online STAR math test prep sessions. Okay, for 5th and 8th graders, it will be March 11th, 18th, and 25th. For 3rd and 4th graders, it will be April 1st, 16th, and 29th. And for 6th and 7th graders, it will be April 8th, 22nd, and also May 6th. To sign up for those dates, it will be on the website soon. You would have to go to www dot hypemath dot com in order to sign up. The sign up is not there yet. It is coming soon. Talk to you later.